Welcome back to another episode of Awesome Blue. We're just getting to the beach here and we're meeting Chris to go spearfishing. And by the way, this is Isaac. Hey guys. All right, let's do it. My young nephew Isaac was spearfishing with Chris and I today. He's been getting better and better each time that we go out. In fact, recently he scored a big star-eyed parrotfish. I'm so excited to see what he catches this time. It's a big worm. It's a parasite. It's really gross. Can you dive down and get that uh, oyster shell right there? For someone like Isaac, who's practicing to get better and better at diving and holding his breath, he has a fun way to improve his skills by diving for shells and other things that he discovers underwater. This is a 100 centimeter spear gun, one of my oldest spear guns that I have. There's a ton of recoil on this gun, even with only one band loaded. To avoid the recoil for Isaac's arm, I hold the hand grip and he's 100% on the trigger and guides the shot. He tracked down this orange spine unicorn fish again and timed the shot perfectly. After getting the fish, three small crabs showed up and fought over the guts. Chris and I scooped up a few more fish at this location before I headed home. I've had a few mainland viewers who aren't familiar with Maui ask me where I generally live in comparison to where I go diving. It takes me around 20 to 25 minutes to drive to most spots on the south side of Maui. I filmed this entire video right before the terrible wildfires in Lahaina. It takes me around 35 minutes to drive to Lahaina. With the recent fires though, I won't be diving this next spot anytime soon. Chris made a great shot on a barracuda. The barracuda was swimming away from him actually. And you may notice that I frequently carry a spoon tucked into my left glove for cases just like this. I instinctively grabbed my spoon and threw it so that the barracuda would come back into shooting range. All went according to plan. Chris placed a perfect shot on this ferocious fish. I've never had a barracuda charge me. Has anyone watching the video had that happen? From what I've heard, it's pretty freaky. Thank you. 
This dive location isn't a secret spot or anything and can be popular with swimmers and tourists as well. Some girls who were snorkeling nearby asked me about seeing an octopus. I found this huge octopus but without knowing how to handle one of these, it could have given them some trouble. So thankfully I was able to find a tiny octopus, really tiny. It was unquestionably the highlight of their snorkeling trip. <laughs> We were pumped about that barracuda and decided to drive down the road to another spot to finish our day at. I dove bombed the surgeon fish. It thought that it was going to outrun me and hide under the sunken wharf up ahead of it. As I was pulling the fish back up, you'll see a reef shark heard the shot, I guess, and came out to check it out. I just missed a shot below me right here, and even though there was no fish fighting at the end of my spear, creating like vibrations and stuff in the water, three reef sharks came to check this one out. They must have learned the sound of the actual spear gun being shot and correlated it with a potential meal. A question for non-spear fishing viewers, would you snorkel with a reef shark or do they sort of scare you? Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna cook that barracuda up and we're gonna do a sweet and sour sauce. I've got Isaac here and his friend Rye. Unfortunately, we had to take Chris back to the airport, so it's just gonna be us today. Let's get at it. We're trying to start it with this lens. Oh, oh, it's smoking. You see a flame? Yep, I just saw a flame. Spots on the barracuda. It looks really cool. Uh, teeth. <laughs> the teeth look so cool. Hey guys, we're just putting in our pineapple and our veggies into the pan, and then we'll throw in our sweet and sour sauce and add the barracuda right after. It tastes good. All right, so um, we're gonna pull the skin off of this barracuda so that we can then get to the meat itself and start dropping it in with the veggies and the simmering sauce.
All right, guys, we're gonna go in for the first bite. I'm gonna try just the veggies first. That sweet and sour sauce is really good. crispiness like they're still crunchy yeah so they're not like new wet noodles they're like really cr crunchy mm -hmm. you can have a whole thing like that this is really good you know what guys i think this is my favorite catch and cook i've ever done like flavor wise it's super good super sugary super sweet a little bit of sour but not much uh it tastes really good and what did you taste Thanks so much for watching another episode of Awesome Blue. We'll see you on the next one.